you so much for clicking on this video. Hope you're having an awesome day. Thanks for taking some time every day to hang out with me. Today's video, we have the Glow Addict unboxing for January 2021. I will leave my Glow Addict playlist link to watch previous unboxings. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and give this video a like. Oh, let's get unboxing. Glow Addict has four different tiers. They have the beauty bag, which is $13.99. The beauty box, that's $18.99. The skincare box, that's $24.99. And then the luxe box, that is $34.99. We will be unboxing the beauty, skincare, and XL boxes. To kick things off, we will unbox the smaller box. This is what the inside looks like, and it looks like the beauty box. First item I see is by Zola Lashes. This is in the style queen. I love Zola Lashes. I love this style. This style likes to go long, short, long, short, and Zola Lashes wear very nice. For the most part, their bands come pretty long, so there have been some instances where I've cut them. Their band has a little stiffness to it, but it's not too stiff. Really nice to work with when you hold it out on both edges to place on your lid. Next is by Beauty Creations. This is their Pro Matte Setting Spray. I always get a little nervous when a setting spray is matte, being a dry skin girl. The brand Beauty Creations is really growing on me. I've only known them for their palettes, so it's cool to see that they have some other items like a setting spray. I'm gonna go on ahead and test this out on my face to see. Okay, there's a little bit of a scent to it. How it was dispensed, I like the amount of product that came out. The spray radiance was very small, so I definitely did have to spray a lot to get my entire face sprayed. But after it has set, my face does look a little bit more on the matte side. It does not feel dried out, which is nice. A lot of matte setting sprays definitely feel like... Oh, it just took out any moisture, hydration that I did to skin prep beforehand. But I really like that matte finish that it gave, especially on my forehead, which can tend to grease up throughout the day. It's definitely one I have to see how it wears throughout the day, but on a first impressions, I really like it. Also by Zola Lashes, this is their Magic Lash Liner. Really excited for this because if you don't have flash glue or an eyeliner pen previously before getting the Style Queen in your box, this is gonna come in handy. I have the one by Kiss. You apply it on like normal eyeliner and then you put your lash on, boom. It does not budge. It makes it super easy. I'm really excited to try Zola's because my Kiss one, I think, is slowly drying out on me. I've been using more lash glue lately just to get through that. I'm very excited to see how this is going to work out. By Paper Cloud, this is the Premium Melting Cleansing Foam and Makeup Remover 2-in-1. I am very intrigued because they look like little faces. What? It is a creamy textured portable sheet foam cleanser and makeup remover for oily skin type. Hopefully it can still work for dry skin. Place one sheet on the palm of your hand and add a little bit of water until fully melted. Interesting. Massage onto face. Rinse with lukewarm water. I am definitely intrigued. I definitely want to test this out. I might do that on a YouTube Shorts, TikTok Reels, so stay tuned for that. This has sparked some curiosity and I want to look into more of this brand to see what other products they might have. By Ruby May, this is the Glam Queen Mascara. This is what the tube looks like. It reminds me of CoverGirl. And this is what the wand looks like. Doesn't say if it's supposed to promote lengthening or volumizing, but that is what I look for in a mascara because I have the world's most pitiful lashes. And then by you. U.S. Colors Ink. This is the Macaroon Obsessions palette. I was hoping for the green palette and I got orange, my favorite color. This is what the inside looks like. Got some pops of pinks in that lime green. Okay, I'm not mad at it. It just looks all orange with the lid on. Top row. Middle row. Bottom row. And this is what the palette looks like swatched. Really like the shimmers in this palette, especially this beautiful lime green. The mattes are soft. I'm a little worried how they're gonna blend because some of them look like they trail off towards the bottom, but I'm very excited looking at these swatches. It looks like a fun palette for the summer with those tropical vibes. It's a nice balance of pinks and oranges. This shade is just a bonus in my opinion. It is just stunning. I am so drawn to that shade. I wanna put it everywhere. Overall, I think the beauty box was a hit. I cannot wait to try that eyeshadow 
lash shadow palette on my eyes. I like how we both got lashes and then the eyeliner pen to apply the lashes. The setting spray definitely took me by surprise with it saying matte and it's working out quite nice right now. And then I'm very intrigued to see how that makeup remover cleanser is gonna work. Moving on to the next box. And this is what the inside looks like and this is the XL box. The first item is by Lurella. This is the 35 colors eyeshadow palette. This is what the inside of the palette looks like. This palette is huge. It reminds me of one of the Morphe palettes. I want to say maybe 35F. I haven't tried Lurella's formula yet, so I'm really excited to go on, dive in, and do some swatches. Top row. Second row. Third row. Fourth row. Last row. After swatching each shade in this palette, both the mattes and the shimmers are really soft and they had pigment all the way through. There were a couple shades that I felt like repeated themselves a couple times throughout this palette, but it's okay. I definitely think that this is going to be more of a beginner friendly palette. There are 35 shades to work with. Even though I haven't tried it out yet, I feel like it's going to be one of those palettes that if you're just starting to get into makeup or want to learn how to do makeup, it's going to be a palette that is going to help you learn the basics of blending, pairing colors together. I like how it's both warm and cool tone. I have tried a handful of Lorella's products through some other subscription boxes. Really enjoyed them. Can't wait to try this palette out. Next by Grace and Stella, we got two of these sheet masks. It's funny because I have received this mask a handful of times. I have still not used it yet. It still reminds me of Shrek every time I look at it. It. it is an anti-wrinkle and energizing face mask. Grace and Stella has grown on me significantly. All the products I have tried really love. I currently have their shampoo and conditioner in my shower right now, obsessed. And then their rose mist is another one that I really like as well. Maybe I'll do a self-care Sunday masking Monday featuring this and let you guys know how it worked out. Next by PX Look, we have nail polish removing pads. Ooh, and they are strawberry scented. Okay, very nice nice and there's cuticle oil in there to keep hydrated you get 32 pads this would be nice if I actually wore some nail polish that is something I was supposed to be working on this year and still got some plain nails well now that I have these I definitely have to paint my nails and try them out to see how well they work out but who needs those when you get impressed press on nails low-key have been wanting to try these for a long time now I haven't used press on nails since like a middle school they are making a comeback but based off what I already see, like this fun neon, that'd be perfect for the spring. This Aztec, that used to be super trendy back in the day as well. Okay, I like how you pretty much do the neon, little pop of it on the ring finger. I try to be fancy like that, put a glitter shade instead. But I'm always scared how it's going to work for my thumb. Hopefully there's a little bit larger nail ones to fit that. By NYX, we got the Love in Paris palette. I believe I have this palette, and if not, they also had Love in Paris little trios, which I know I have. I just came across them the other day when I was reorganizing, so I'm going to set this aside for a giveaway. Next is by Aesthetica. This is the Contour palette. I actually received this in a previous box. This one will be set aside as well. I'm just opening it to make sure that it's not shattered, and it's not. The first one that I got in the Glow Attic box months ago was shattered. <laughs> I tried repressing it to try it for myself and I ended up just decluttering it because I just don't contour. And then by the balm, this is the Sustainably Gorgeous palette. And this is what the inside of the palette looks like. Hopefully they can work out a little bit better as bronzers. The balms, bronzers, some of my favorite. I love the shade Thomas. And their highlighters, really nice as well. Quickly gonna do some swatches. Meteor, Comet, Shooting Star, Galaxy. And these are the shades swatched. Really excited for these highlighters. Man, Meteor is freaking beaming. It is going to be just so dramatic 
on the cheekbones but I also really like Comet that is a lot more up my alley being more on the rose gold side. These contour shades are very creamy. Based off their smooth feel and their light swatch I think I can get away using these as bronzing shades. For the XL box I have mixed feelings about it. I really like how they included a lot of palettes but it seemed almost redundant at one point. I like how we got like one big palette to be super creative with then we got a more on the go palette then we got a contour palette and then we got like a half contour half highlighters I don't know I think it would have been nice to see maybe some blush palettes or a super colorful eyeshadow palette and then one neutral since both of those were very neutral or incorporate more skincare like how we got the two sheet masks maybe include a cleanser toner whatever it may be perhaps hair care I think that's something else that they could expand on uh, lastly the skincare box this is what the inside looks like by the brand C'est La Vie these are the aloe vera makeup removing wipes they are made in Korea Ooh, K beauty they are makeup removing cleansing towelettes with aloe vera it's supposed to help rejuvenate and hydrate and you get 30 of them I have been trying not to use makeup wipes nearly as much I primarily only use them when I'm filming and doing swatches this is where they're primarily gonna get use out of but I would also be curious to see how well it does remove your makeup aloe is just amazing I am obsessed with that ingredient I have an aloe plant that helps purify my bedroom help me sleep a little bit better I've been tempted to take one of them chop it up use the fresh aloe on my skin and hair to see that is supposed to be absolutely amazing so I get very excited when I see products that include aloe in it by city color this is the lip color remover hmm very exciting for this I would love to see how this works out with those really stubborn shades I have some liquid lipsticks I just don't want to budge I'm looking at dose in particular but that's good that is a long wearing formula and those new NYX shine lounge oh my gosh I was there forever scrubbing it off and it really does not budge so something like this definitely sounds like it would get the job done my lips are already dry as it is so they get even more dried out really tugging trying to remove lipstick off my lips and this says that it's moisturizing with vitamin A and E so so hopefully this is gonna be a good two-on-one where you remove it but you're also bringing back nourishment to it I do have some high hopes for this and I will test it out with dose with NYX in particular next by Grace and Stella we have their foam cleanser I am very excited for this foam cleansers have come a long way I am obsessed with my Kylie skin one I know Kylie <laughs> and it is just a really nice face wash that lathers up super nice I feel like it does a good job cleansing my face because it feels super clean afterwards it does not strip at my skin as I mentioned I have been loving Grace and Stella I had no idea they had a foam cleanser oh wow this is a big bottle of 5.0 fluid ounces it is fragrance and sulfate free very important when it comes to ingredients I'm very excited to incorporate this into my routine I would probably use it more in the morning I like to use more gel or foam cleansers in the morning where at night I use more of an oil based cleanser because I film at night and oil just works a little bit better with makeup next by Lunes this is the aloe peeling gel I'm really excited that we're seeing a lot of aloe based products and this one is k-beauty as well this is a fine milled peeling gel that helps remove dead skin cells and waste from the surface on the skin and within its pores for a clean smooth skin I have really been enjoying these peels I find them to be a lot more gentler on my dry skin I don't think it irritates your skin nearly as much as a traditional exfoliator and I think it avoids the fear of micro tearing as well I have two other ones that I alternate from time to time one is from face Tori the other is from Tony Moly also K beauty brand so I want to see how this one compares and then lastly by millennial Beauté, this is the CBD coffee scrub oh and it's specifically for your body <laughs> I was gonna say that might be a little bit rough for the face caffeine is a great ingredient for the skin the only downside about these is that it leaves those chunks in your drain gets a little clogged up from time to time I think I have my Frank body one in the shower right now so once that's over we'll use this really excited for that skincare box especially the two K beauty aloe products and then the grace and Stella foam cleanser there are already existing products in my collection that I can't wait to compare them to I would love to know do you guys get glow addict do you guys get the beauty bag beauty box skincare box or the XL box were there any other variations all these boxes were jam-packed with goodies so I would love to know if you got something different maybe a different color story in any of the palettes and are you guys looking forward to February's boxes thank you so much for watching I really hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe before you leave and if you don't I appreciate your view anyways and I'll see you in the next video